What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Caller 100, and you're going to be watching episode 2 of Pokemon Showdown to the top Uber's edition. Here we go! Enjoy! Okay, so the first Pokemon I'm going to be using is Primal Groudon, the main Pokemon for this video. He's going to be using Sword Dance, Rock Polish, Precipice Blades, and Fire Punch. Offensive Sweeper. Next up in our squad is Ferrothorn, rocking the Rocky Helmet as the held item with the ability Iron Barbs. The moves for Ferrothorn are going to be Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, Spikes, and Power Whip. Max Defense, so I can survive physical attacking moves. And we have 248 HP and the rest in attack. So that Power Whip will do some damage. Now you see Arceus Fairy for the third Pokemon. Arceus Fairy holding the Pixie Plate. Call Mind, Judgment, Reflect, and Light Screen. This is a bulky Arceus, so it's not going to be offensive by any means, but this is going to be very reliable when we try utilizing Groudon and Ferrothorn and potentially Marshadow when we try to take care of Pokemon on the opposition side. Alright, so Marshago. Marshago is packing a life orb here. The life orb will work in conjunction with Drain Punch so that we can restore our health. Pure offensive Marshago with mass attack and mass speed and four in special defense. Spooky, isn't it? Another offensive threat is Mewtwo. It's a regular Mewtwo with a choice scarf. Psychic or Sphere Ice Beam Fire Blast. Very unreliable sometimes Fire Blast is, but we'll make it work. Max Special Attack, Max Speed, and 4 in Special Defense. Woohoo! Finally, we have Naganagel. Naganagel is going to be using the Dragonium Z with the Nasty Plot set. Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Sludge Wave, and Draco Meteor. It's time to drop a Draco. As they say, we got pure offensive EV spreads over here with Naganadil going for the max special attack, max speed, and another four and two special defense. Alright, so that's the end of the analysis. I know it's a pure offensive team, but I know it can work. And we can really get in some victories with the lineup that I chose. So, let's begin the matches. Enjoy! Okay, so no mistakes, guys, I swear. No mistakes. I didn't change anybody. Now, I'm going to be using a lot of Groudon and a lot of Marshadow, a lot of Mewtwo, because this is a pure offensive team, and look at my opponent. We have a matchup here. Set the timer here. Say good luck and have fun, as always, just for good sportsmanship. He might start out with Primal Groudon. You never know. So let's see, I'm gonna figure out my choices here. I think starting out with Arceus might make sense. I don't know, <laughs> it's a good choice and it works out in my favor because we see Sableye, I think he's going to taunt. So I'm expecting, expecting him to do that. I'm going to utilize Judgment right away. I know Sableye, it's going to Oh, I thought it was gonna taunt. I would've made a lot more sense, in my opinion. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and... I am not expecting him to, to taunt. Because if he was gonna taunt... How was he gonna do it? So I switch out and go into the Ganadale. This is good. Now I can go for another Judgment. Or I could go for Light Screen. Alright. Interesting. So I went for light screen. It's going to make it so that Nasty Pot is... You know it. So it, it balances out. You know, if you went for a Nasty Pot, you go for light screen. It's basically a one-on-one -on -one equalizer right there. So I can survive a few surge waves. Now I'm going to go for the Judgment. Finish off the Galagel. And I expect him to go into something like Xerneas. And we definitely see that. A Fairy versus Fairy type 
I know I can't survive another. What if he goes for the Geomancy though? That's that's the question. Oh yeah, he does go for Geomancy. All right. So we're gonna see how much I can. So that's some damage. All right. Now I can't really switch out. Fair farm is a really good check. So I'm gonna go for the judgment, even though I'm not fast enough. It's all right. Man, that light's getting worn off already. So let's see what should we do here. I'm. My best bet is to go into Ferrothorn and paralyze this Xerneas. You guys didn't power fire? Are you kidding me? That is not what I had in mind there. No! Alright, Marshall, you need to be fast, okay? You need to be you need to be fast. You need to outspeed it. You need to outspeed it. No! That is not looking too good there. I can't believe this is happening, guys. Damn it. Right, no, I can't go for Sword Stance. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go for Fire Punch. Wow, he has Grass Nut? Are you serious right now? Wow, that's insane. Uh, so, I mean, at this point, it's pretty much game over. I'm going to have to sack Pokemon. This match is over. Going to Mewtwo, and, you know, just quick psychic. That's all I can really do at this point. So, Moonblast me again. 100% damage. Going to Gandagal, yeah, good game, my friend. You know how to utilize the Xerneas properly. Oop, I can't, can't really use everything, Drake. I wish I could, but I can't. So, yeah, this match is over. <laughs> Let's go find another match. Yeah, there was nothing I could do. I didn't have a good answer for Xerneas outside of Ferrothorn and Groudon, which were already fainted. Here, though, we see a really good team. I see Lugia and Charizard and Xerneas. I'm gonna start with my Naganagel. Uh, I'm gonna go for Nasty Pot right here. I think it's a good choice. Set up right away. But yeah, it's Dragon Get out of here! Alright. The sun is up, so can I use Dragon? Or Arceus? No, I can't use Dragon. Or Shadow? You too? What could work here? I'm trying to figure something out here. I'm going to go to Arceus Fairy. Because I feel like he can't really do anything, especially when I call mine up. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do just that. I'm hoping he can switch. Oh, he goes for Fire Blast and misses. Okay. That's fine. So I have a plus one, Arceus. I'm gonna go for the Judgment. He misses again. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess the luck is on my side now, which is perfect. I'm gonna go for um, another Judgment. Fire Blast. Oh man, that would be a three hit KO. This will not KO the Charizard. Okay. Go for another Judgment. Oh, he's gonna go for the flinch chance. I get it. I get it. Uh, so far, another judgment. Do not go for air slash again, please. That'll be ideal. I want to knock you out, Charizard. Go for fire blast. Still doesn't KO. That's hilarious. Okay, so Charizard's out. What's he gonna go into? Eagle slash. Okay. I'm gonna probably sack. I'm gonna probably sack this Arceus. Just saying. For the Shadow Snake. Okay, that's fine. That is okay. Now I can go into something fresh. Like Ferrothorn. Pretty much good checkmate. Do this thing. I'm gonna probably Thunder Wave you. Thunder Wave you right now because you're too fast and you're too powerful. If he wants to switch out, shh. Well, you're not going to switch out. I was thinking you might switch out because nobody doesn't want to take a Thunder Wave. I think. If I had to guess, I think Eagle Slash would be a much better option to get paralyzed, so I can't really fault him for that. I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks as he goes for the Shadow Ball. He is faster still. Damn. Alright, now we can go into Mars Shadow. We can easily wipe out the Eagle Slash with that. Goes into Kyogre. Alrighty. I'm just gonna go for the Drain Punch. Get some health back. I think that's a good idea. Alright, we're back at full HP. We do have Life Warp though. He has Calm Mind. Uh oh. Let's go ahead and secure a KO by going for close combat. That's a much better option. 
Because I don't think a drain pipe should KO. I expect a drain is to come in. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna go for the. I can't. I can't really use Great Punch or something. What do I do here? Oh, I'm gonna go for the Spectral Thief. I think that's a better play out of anything I came up with. He goes for Geomancy. Are you guys? I guess I was cheering that a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. Ah, oh, that was so close. Shadow Snake should have killed. But it's okay. My Shadow goes down, but this will open the door for Groudon. I know I can utilize this thing. In this video, guys, we're going to utilize Sword Dance and Rock Polish. But I don't think this is a good time, but I know this will work at some point. He brings a Lugia. And I don't really have a good answer for you, so I'm going to go for a Fire Punch just to put some chip damage. I can bring something fresh. You guys have Toxic, but that's fine. That is okay. Uh. Let's see, I'm going to go for another Fire Punch. Ah, uh, he went for Protect! I went for Rock Polish. I mean, it really doesn't matter, because I'm going to go down anyway. Okay, that's fine. That is alright. I got I got I got finally set up the Dragon, or I mean, the Rock Polish, rather. It just didn't really matter because of the poison. Okay, so we have Serena out here. Easy to control for the Ice Beam, and... Knock out this strand. That's the only Pokemon you guys left. That's the end of that one. I won that match. Yay! Finally! Yeah, this team has potential. I'm liking the results so far. We're getting some wins, but some losses as well. Ooh, this is a good, good team right there. Wow, good luck, have fun, my friend. This is gonna be a good one. I can already tell. Alright, so I'm gonna start out with. Like Marshadow, Meganagel. I think Meganagel is a better option because uh, I'm pretty sure I can set up on it. I have flamethrower. I have flamethrower. Ah, oh, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna censor that. I'm gonna censor that. He said something pretty bad there. I don't want. I really don't want to spoil it on YouTube here. <laughs> uh, he goes for the mirror mash with the Jirachi there. That's like a critical hit. I have a plus two Meganagel ready to punch holes here. We do get a burn on the Jirachi. I wish that KO'd. Man, if I, if I KO'd that Jirachi, that would have been awesome. But, alright, well, I'm going to go into more Shadow and Shadow Sneak here. Priority. That's okay. Let's KO that Jirachi. That ship and been already, but who cares? And. I expect him to go into something really powerful. Rayquaza is here. And for Rayquaza... I'm going to probably paralyze it with Ferrofire. I guess I was going to go into Arceus Fairy. I was thinking about it. But if I went into this thing, this is what I was going to do. I was going to utilize the Iron Barbs and the Rocky Helmet. Because he went from the Dragon's Ascent. Or whatever move he was going to go into. Sucker Wave is for the target the Lyos. And that's a great example of like a great prediction right there. I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks as he gets paralyzed. Nothing you can do there. I'm gonna go for Spikes. He can't really do anything unless he has a fire type attack, which I don't think he does. I'm free to utilize Power Whip and put some damage onto this Lyas. So that way I can go into Mewtwo or Arceus or whoever is appropriate to handle Lyas. This is perfect. This is really good. I'm going to go for another Power Whip as he gets paralyzed. This is awesome. Ferrothorn, you're doing awesome. Now in the last video, you guys, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. But we used a Bronze on, and he was just as good. And what? Holy crap, are you kidding me? I survived with 1 HP. Are you kidding me right now? Why are you going for the Dragon Claw, man? You're going to be taking damage. Wow. This is easy, I can just go into Marshadow and just go for the, uh, Shadow Sneak, but, yeah, that's all I can really do. <laughs> I can take some life orb damage, but that's okay. That is okay, I have Drain Punch. He goes into Kyogre! Hi, Kyogre. How are we doing? So, here, I'm going to switch out. I, I'm going to grab on. This is a good idea because, you know, the rain is up. I'm going to block it with my sun rays. 
Excellently engaged, yes. <laughs> Here we go. There you go, that's a great play right there. Okay, so now this will be a great opportunity to go for rock polish and sword dance. Why are you going for orange impulse, my friend? This is not a good time for you to do this. That is absolutely not a good time. You're just gonna let me set up, right? You're just gonna let me set up. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, why don't you? Dude, are you serious right now? Why are you going to protect? You need to switch out of here. If you want to get rid of this battle line, which I think it's too late now, you still have your title here and everything like that. Instead, I'm going to let you sweep with my guard line. And that is what I needed to do in this video, God damn it. So, even though it's resisted, Fire Punch should do a real good amount to Wario's. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, we can get out too! That is perfect, so... Yeah, I think this is pretty much game over, because I can just go with the Fire Punch at plus 2. I have speed, this requires it, unless you have exchange speed, but it will not KO. Oh, you survived it. Okay, well, what can I do about that? So let's go for another Fire Punch. Dude, why are you protecting? You're wasting time. You're wasting time, my friend. Fire Punch, get out of here. Yeah, how did you I'm really happy I got a chance to set up with Ferrothorn earlier. That pretty much sealed the deal with me and my Groudon. Especially when I did get a chance to set up. Dude, that was a great game right there. So, let's look for another game. It looks like we're facing a really good opponent. The Magirna, Equaza, Mewtwo, Duckrod, Magusk, Garakina O. I think starting out with Ferrothorn would be a great idea here if I can get my Skull Rocks and Spikes. Because none of those will appreciate, uh, especially Equaza and of course Mewtwo and Necrozma. So I'm going to start with Ferrothorn. I'm not sure what my opponent's going to leak out right now. Hope the timer is on. See what my opponent is going to do. Let's see. Alright, he's going to start with Mewtwo. I'm going to hopefully paralyze it. That's a good way to start the battle. So, let's go ahead and use Thunder Wave. Just gonna click it. It's a Mega Mewtwo. Oh, he has... He has Fire Blast! Are you kidding me? That was so risky. I didn't see that. Honestly, I did not. So now I paralyzed him. I should be faster, but I think the mechanics are a little bit different. Oh, he went for Focus Blast. Not sure why he did that. Why did he do that? I am not sure. Haha, <laughs> 84 minutes, so that was an easy fight. I think he just rage quit. So we're already into another game. This is a really good team there. He's got a lot of psychic type Pokemon, and we see on Electros as well. Oh, we get to start up. Uh, I'm gonna start out with Ferrothorn again. That's yeah, Fire Punch. Are you serious right now? I'm gonna get my Stealth Rocks right away here. I can't paralyze him, so I'm gonna go for the entry layer. The entry hazard layer is here. I'm not sure why Electros is going for the physical attacking move that's making contact. He's gonna be taking damage. But for what it's worth, I'll take it. I will gladly take it. You can go into Wishy Washy. What? Okay, well, I went for the Power Whip, which wouldn't really do much anyway. Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna go into Groudon, just because of the typing matchup here. All the water type attacks are not gonna be working against us. So this is going to open the door for Groudon a little bit. We're going to set up here. Yeah, so I mean, he went for the... Well, it's too late now, so... Anyway, so we're gonna go for the Sword Dance and... Oh, you have Dragon Tail! Okay, that is something new. Alright, so with you in here... Okay, what should I do? Should I go... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go for Reflect. Seems like a good idea because you're a physical Electros. Go ahead to Groudon again. Checking on another Wild Charge. This will let me stay in. Use Sword Stance and Rock Polish. Oh, damn, I didn't see you, I didn't see you do that. I thought you were, I thought you were gonna switch. Okay, let's go for the Drain Punch here. Just finish you off. You're annoying. 
You are officially annoying. So I have to do this all over again with Crowdon, but that's okay. So with the Reflect Up still, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneak. He is faster than me. That is okay, so... Bar Shadow, you took care of the other Bar Shadow. That's great. You see Wishy Washy. Okay, uh, let's go with the Shadow... Or, I mean, the Special Thief. That's why you easily wipe out Wishy Washy. Great. Looks like Aerodactyl now. I could probably switch out, or maybe I should still attack. Let's see. Uh. Okay, let's just go to the Mewtwo. I mean, I have Ice Beam, so it's quadruple effective. He has Dragon Claw. Probably just hitting for those Dragon types or something, but I have a Marsh Shadow, so if you went for the Scab attack, Scab attack there, that would have been much better. But Dragon Claw, what the hell? <laughs> We can hear that Pokemon, let's see what Geosis has to say. Oh, he has knockoff, okay. Interesting, so now with that said, let's go into Groudon. Let's see if we can do this one last time. Short Stance, Rock Polish, the strategy shall continue. And we have another Forbit. Dang, I think he was scared for that. He was scared. He didn't want to finish it. So that's like two Forfeits in one video here. A lot more than the last one, which is pretty funny. Alright, so this looks like a team that is going to be very scary. I, I don't like Evil at all. But, I'm going to start with Groudon. I think that's a great idea, just to bluff the fact that I'm Stealth Rocker. I'm going to set up right away. I guess Stealth Sure, I could, go, I could go for the Fire Punch, but I don't want to bluff it. Oh, he's got Toxic. Hey, we Sword Stance up. Let's see what you can do with that. So for a fire punch, it's a plus two. It's a plus two, man. You can't survive it. Well, maybe you can. You have a focus sash. Okay. Let's knock you out. Unfortunately, though, he has a sticky web. Oh, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. Let's go for rock polish. I forgot all about it. So this is a much, this is way much, <laughs> this is way better, folks. So we have a sword stance and we have a rock polish up. So this is going to be Huge, but I have one more turn because of the poison. Yeah, I kind of went a little too quick there. Of course, I forgot all about the rock polish. This way, I can guarantee a a hit before I go down here. Maybe KO something and we can get another double down. All right, we have a ground on. I can easily outspeed it for so Pacific's blades right here. Oh, oh my god, that was a great play. That was a fantastic play. My goodness. So that was a great play by my opponent. He went into e Beltol on the Pacific Blades. I'm going to Ferrothorn. Paralyze him. Let's paralyze the e Beltol. Or actually, wait. You know what? I'm going to go for Power Whip because... I don't know. I mean... I would rather put some ship damage, but... To paralyze him... It's... I don't know. I think going for the chip damage is a lot better. We'll see. Hopefully he doesn't have anything weird and oh my god you have heat wave. What? Get out of here. Alright, so we both told it's officially a problem. So the Arceus Fairy with a typing matchup, obviously. Let's go straight for called Mind. Toxic. This is why Toxic is amazing in Ubers. It is. Really. It is. So I wanna see what we can do with what we can here. I know our poison, get as many boosts as we can, and then we'll sweep with Arceus Fairy Moonblast at plus two, plus three, plus four. You want to be quick about it though. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Is he going to switch? Me thinks he's going to switch. Oh no, you're going to stay in? Okay, that's fine. You do take a little bit more damage though. Go for the judgment. Let's see how much this does. This should KO the evil call. Dark Pulse? What? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You just lost your evil call for no reason. You could have preserved it. I don't know. Okay, so what's next? We see Metagross. I think he's going to go into that. That's a better play. Yeah. Metagross. <laughs> Metal Spider. I like that nickname. Makes sense, right? It's a mega metal spider. 
Bullet Punch. Easily wipe out. Okay. Um, you choose probably the best play, even though my speed's lower. You can't really do much. Even a regular Meteor Mash or a Bullet Punch, it will not KO. It will not KO. So I'm gonna go for a Fire Blast. Please don't miss. I've had bad luck with that. I seriously have. Let's see what he's gonna go for here. Oh my god, seriously, what is up with this? Okay, so I do manage to survive, but of course he's going to use Bullet Punch. Damn it. I was close to... This is why you like flames on her over Fire Blast. Okay, well Marsh Shadow can easily wipe out this... Uh, Megadross Spectral Thief. Easily wipe out. I should have done that in the first place, but whatever. I would still have my Mewtwo and everything, but it's all about hats. Like, you miss a Fire Blast like two times in a row or something. It's ridiculous. We see a Barco in Ubers. What's up? Oh, he's paralyzing me? Go for another special feat. He's probably Eevee Alight. That's probably why he's so darn bulky. Okay, Spectral Thief again, and we paralyze. Get paralyzed, rather. Again, the girl. I haven't seen you that much. Let's go for the Z Power move here. Get this getting Drake. Please don't get paralyzed. Okay, thank you. Yes! So we kick out the Murkrow. Get our speed boost. Or, I mean, <laughs> beast. Beast boost. Sorry. And those mixed up. So, yeah, we got a beast boost. But we're paralyzed, so that's something to keep in mind here. What's he going to do to us? Does he have, uh... Stop it, Draco. Oh, he has an Earth Power. Okay, I knew he had something, but I wasn't sure. Last Pokemon is Mars Shadow. I can't really do anything at this point. He has a Tyrantrum that I can't really... I mean, I have close combat, but... I think Groudon is going to outspeed me. So, I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. There's really nothing I can do. Alright, well, that's the end of this. Uh, I'm going to check the ladder, so... I think we're going to be done with this episode, so let's look and see, we're at the Genesis, Genesis 7 Uber, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, Sif 3, I think that's it. Here, I'll highlight it for you guys. Yeah, there you go, Sif wins, 3 losses for 9 battles, right, 1,197. Which is not as high as I wanted to be in this video, but I want to be better at this, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you all liked this episode of The Road to the Top. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming your way to the channel. Again, this is Trainer Connor bringing you another episode of the Pokemon Showdown Road to the Top. Have a great day, trainers.